Hey, Dr. McClure, Ashik of Merge Genomics. I wanted to make a, a video that's a summary of the information about mRNA vaccines from last year because it's been just over a year that mass vaccination commenced worldwide. And clearly, the difference between what we're hoping for to achieve versus what has in the end turned out are starkly different, especially exemplified by the recent emergence of what appears to be a true immune escape variant, the Omicron, which appears to be the champion of immune escape variants. It appears to be able to infect anyone right now. So we wanted to give a, a summary of what we've seen. So the first big difference, obviously, the first big point is let's focus on the positives. It's the fact that vaccines clearly demonstrate improved health outcomes uh, against hospitalizations or uh, death outcomes. So that's a big winner for vaccines. Of course, if you were to look at it in a population, uh, that's what we the typically the information that is presented to us is the is the relative risk reduction so that's when you compare one group to another group but if we were to look at it in an absolute risk reduction meaning what is the likelihood of you experiencing one of these adverse events randomly so prior to vaccination, your risk was this big and post vaccination, your risk is this big. So if you saw that difference, <laughs> it's because that difference is extremely small as an absolute risk, less than 1% or around 1% risk reduction total. Still very significant, but that's not fair because that's population wise. If you were to look at different risk outcomes for different groups, certain groups are at much higher risk of experiencing experiencing negative outcomes and for those particular groups it's a very significant difference in risk we're talking about of course we're talking about those who are elderly or immunocompromised individuals and that's clearly they can dramatically benefit from from uh, from uh, being able to have the vaccine and reduce the likelihood of, a, of either ending up in a hospital or, or succumbing to the disease. So definitely massive win right there. Another big win that everyone was hoping for, of course, at the start um, of uh, the vaccination program is that it would reduce the rate of infection amongst the vaccinated. And indeed, that was at the beginning up clearly appear to be the case however with each subsequent variant as we've observed in last year that efficacy of being able to stop the infection has been dropping and right now with the omicron it pretty much looks out the window so that was the big hope that was attached to vaccines now remember when vaccines were approved they were not approved for this they were only approved for minimizing the outcome of severe disease and death and in that regard they have and they have indeed worked spectacularly but the big hope that everyone was was promising us is that if everyone is becoming vaccinated, we're going to end the pandemic. And I was attached to the hope that it would reduce the infection rates amongst people. And unfortunately, that didn't happen. So this brings me to another big point, and it's how often can transmission take place after vaccination and clearly transmission still takes place after vaccination and that has been increasing right now it seems to be with omicron anyone anyone can be infected so that's that's a bit unfortunate and the reason why is because we are actually somewhat in an uncharted territory because we've never been in a situation where we're faced with an, an immune escape variant in the midst of a pandemic. We literally will have to see, wait and see as to what happens. So this is a new form of science, new form of information is being generated and formed from these type of experiences right now. And we will be... We will be generating new science data. Now, which way it will go, no one knows. The good news so far is obviously, and it's a blessing in disguise, is that Omicron appears to be very, very mild. And if that stays that way, the big hope is that maybe a variant like Omicron will be able to finally end this pandemic for us.
but in terms of transmission we'll see what it will what that still means we went into from a theoretical suspecting of what what immunoscape variant might do to what now appears to be a presence of true immunoscape variant in the form of omicron now there is other potential issues we have to face uh, uh, post mass vaccination another one is obviously the side effects and there's clearly information with relation to side effects but what the big issue is is that no one really knows their frequency because they don't appear to be diligently monitored to a degree that could potentially de potentially appropriately represent the population so with in terms of side effects we still don't really have a grasp on that based on the information that is being calculated uh, captured they would appear to be very very rare but no one knows to what degree that actually represents the the truth in the population because that information is not yet adequately captured and we haven't figured out how to do it yet so that still awaits a solution and the final potential outcome of a surprise is the fact that we are discovering itself that spike protein might be a might be toxic in its own right and the question still ha yet needs to be confirmed to what degree spike protein produced by vaccines could be introducing any issues in comparison to the spike protein produced by natural infection because this is how we are actually learning the pathogenicity of the spike protein we're learning that from COVID-19 patients so we still have to figure out what is the relationship between those between those events so uh those are the main four points i wanted to talk about and uh, give you a summary summary off and we'll see as to what continues to happen with the pandemic as i mentioned if we're lucky omicron with its mild mild outcomes will remain as such and the outcomes will remain um mild for the long term as well and hopefully hopefully that will mean that in a way this means omicron itself acts like as a form of natural vaccine and if that's the case if we're lucky it will finally bring the pandemic to an end but time will tell like i said we are in uncharted territory in terms of what might be happening moving forward all right so that's all i wanted to t tell you in this quick video so if you like this type of information give us a like subscribe to the channel share this video leave a comment all the good stuff you know how it works and how that helps us and we're looking forward to seeing you in uh, another future installment Bye for now, everyone. Hey, everyone, just a quick addition. I wanted to let you know that uh, we had another interview for Finding Genius podcast with Richard Jacobs. So please check it out. The link to the podcast is in the description below. And another information that I wanted to let you know that is that we still have an ongoing survey for you, the audience, to pick the video of your choice for the next video. We already are eyeing one of those topics for sure. And we are curious to see what you decide. So see you next time. Bye, everyone.